Here is an oldie. This is an Eagle brand uh, button accordion, single row in the key of C. Uh, early 1900s somewhere. It sports uh, bell metal reeds, which means, you know, brass. Uh, and this one has long plates. Uh, this is another example of a long plate. In fact, this is also has the brass reeds. Um, this is a two voice. It has uh, two stops. Uh, one's a dummy, uh, so one set of reeds is actually always on, and the other set of reeds is controlled by a stop. Uh, it's very stiff, and I'm not going to. It, it's in a good position to play. Uh, this is not going to get played a lot, I don't believe, so I'm going to leave that as is, as it's, things are quite delicate inside. Uh, the buttons are close together because of that long plate allows uh, the reeds to be close. It says spoon bases, a simple two, two spoon bases and an air spoon button. Um, so, uh, all tuned up. I've left it at the historical tuning of A443. Uh, but tuned it all up. It was quite all over the place uh, when it came in here. Uh, it had no thumb strap and the base strap was broken. It was uh, cloth to begin with, so I've actually replaced it with cloth. And likewise, I have a matching cloth, slightly smaller width uh, for a thumb loop now. Uh, I can go through the notes. It's actually in uh, pretty great shape. Uh, you know, nowhere on the bellows anywhere. Uh, the the original um, metal uh, hook for holding the bellows together long gone. Those are those often they break very easily. A terrible design where they just break right where you're at the pivot point. But that's okay. Uh, uh, the bellows are uh, pretty tight on this actually. Um, So, like I say, I've tuned it to A443. Life left in it. Eagle brand, one row in C. I did uh, the historic tuning had the thirds flatted cut quite a bit. I, I left that in it so it's a little bit uh, sweeter sounding. Uh, likewise the chords and the and the two um, the thirds on the two chords are also flatted. 